there's a lot of building work going on around me at the moment within the whole building and the whole building is getting new windows i've had mine put in i'm feeling very warm and fuzzy and christmasy put on red to complement kelly clarkson with underneath the tree a way back in 2013 from her absolutely fabulous album and it's the best song on the album as well in my view of christmas songs in the red now when it comes to kelly clarkson who is everybody a singer songwriter author and television personality and she rose to fame after winning the first season of the american idol way back in 2002 which earned her a record deal with rca records and she's never looked back she currently has a daytime chat show and i have to say she's got it she's got it in bucket loads the enthusiasm the interest in the guests that she brings on and the camaraderie that goes on with everybody the audience band members all of it and i just feel it's a very light-hearted entertaining show check it out it depends what tv station is playing it i can't recommend a tv station because i watch it on youtube actually her show because it fluctuated from one channel to another and i went oh i'll just you know, I'm a creator on YouTube, I'll watch her on YouTube. I find her very entertaining. I think she's an incredible singer. And I'm going to enjoy this. You're going to enjoy it. It's already got over 42 million records. And on top of that, Kelly Clarkson said about the song. Underneath the Tree is a song from my sixth studio album and first Christmas album, Wrapped in Red. It's a christmas theme song that sings of gratitude for companionship during the holidays in which the beloved is referred to as the only present needed underneath the tree hence the title and accompanied by various instrumental sounds the song prominently incorporates a wall of sound treatment along with sleigh bells and bell chimes to resonate a holiday atmosphere now underneath the tree has been praised by music critics who considered it as the main highlight of Wrapped in Red, the album I just mentioned of 2013, track two, and lauded its potential to be a holiday classic. They also complimentarily compared it to the 1994 modern Christmas standard, All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Or Carey, as some people say. Now the thing is, I know that's going to be so overplayed at Christmas time. In shopping centres, I'm going to hear it to death, the Mariah Carey. And no disrespect to her, absolutely fabulous, fabulous song. But my favourite all over the years has been Kelly Clarkson's Underneath the Tree. I like to play it towards the end of November, into Christmas, and then I finish with it. So I'm feeling Christmassy. I've grown out of centre. So in the back, just here, is the Nordic version of the lighted Santa Claus that people will pull all around the tree. As you can see all around me, I'm not one for lights and Christmas trees and all of that. I think I give from the heart, I give nice presents at Christmas times, even to coffee shop assistants that, you know, have looked after me, gave water to my dog, made sure I was okay, gave me a little bit extra at times, or another coffee for free. They've looked after me. So in return, every Christmas, what I do is instead of, wasting my money which i feel it is now on christmas decorations i put it into little gifts and i give like santa does to those that have been good to me so that's what i do that's why there's no decorations big tree in the background but there's enough going on in this video to light up any room and my nordic friend will be with me for the entirety of christmas period and my dog in the corner, which on Christmas Day, I shall upload a video by Jonathan Antoine, my favorite Christmas song. Just as a tribute to Christmas Day, to him, to what he's done for my channel, the Fantoines that follow me, all of it. And hopefully a few Kelly Clarkson now will subscribe to my channel and discover me and think, wow, I enjoyed that. And I hope you do because this particular song also, and I've got the I've looked at the lyrics and I agree it's it's a song that's uplifting it's a song that's going to touch the heart of many people just because 
you know, it means more than the Christmas sing-along, chanty songs that we all are used to. It really does capture the joy and fulfillment of finding love during the holiday season. But then, for some people, it's finding trying to find love all year round, but they're even more hopeful. And the lyrics do express that shift, looking at them from that feeling of alone and cold to experiencing warmth and happiness with the other person. Mm, it's great. So Kelly Clarkson live, take it away, my favorite Christmas song. It really, really is. It's my favorite, favorite Christmas song for this particular reason. Take a listen, give you a little synopsis of the lyrics and then it'll be, it's my first time with my red jumper and my Nordic friend lit up. So Kelly Clarkson, welcome to my channel. Now you can see, I'm sorry about the work noise in the background again, now you can see why I love Kelly Clarkson's song. 
it's so refreshingly different and she has the vocal range by the way of Ma Mariah Carey before people dispute she can hit those high notes that like this woman deserved to win in 2002 and she's won musically throughout her life ever since personally she's had her downs as well as her ups and I believe she's had a very bitter divorce and I think that's probably a friend ringing me saying I've just seen you live dancing with my Nordic toy. Thank you. So to my sister, thank you for himself. There's no name on him. It's just an emblem of Christmas lit up in my room just to prove I am Christmassy and the jumper as well. That I don't dismiss it, but I've just grown out of it. Simple as that. What is Kelly's incredibly bouncy bouncy song about <laughs> I have to say it's a great live version she's amazing the guru is the singer expresses that contentment with the presence of the loved one it says in the lyrics emphasizing the magical ambience created by snowfall and caroling they acknowledge the past Christmas lacked the same joy and meaning as they were alone on Christmas Day The superficial beauty of presence becomes insignificant without the love and the companionship of their partner provides. Being held tight by their loved one becomes the true essence of the holiday season. That's so true. After 16 years of being spoiled by my other half, I have to say we're going into our 17th year and long may it last that those hugs, those little nighttime kisses last forever. The first verse says, and we'll go into a quick, because they'll say, well, you didn't go through the verses of Kelly's song. <laughs> I do get people that say that. So scripted, well, it's not. I have my notes always prepared. Verse one says, tonight, tonight, I'm gonna hold you close. Make sure that you know I was lost before you. Christmas was cold and gray. Another holiday alone to celebrate. I had the story of my life before I met my current partner. The pre-chorus says, but then, but then one day everything changed. You're all I need underneath the tree. And the chorus continues. You are here, you should be. Snow is falling, the carolers sing. It just wasn't the same alone on Christmas day. Presence, what a beautiful sight. Don't mean a thing if you ain't hold me tight. It's true. I could have six Christmas trees in here, full of presents, full of, but it means nothing if I don't get my Christmas day hug or hold or a call or a text or a voicemail or something to say by anybody love you happy Christmas it means a lot in a world of turmoil and blah it really does you're all I need it continues underneath the tree now verse 2 says I found I found what I was looking for a love that's meant for me a heart that's completely mine mm and knocked off my feet yes you are when you find it and all this year i will fall with no worries at all to go into the chorus because you are everything's clear you're all i need underneath the tree and finishes with a beautiful saxophone going into the bridge and then one day everything changed you're all i need underneath the tree it continues the theme you're all here where you should be snow is falling as the carolers sing oh yay yeah, oh yay yeah. It was just the same alone on Christmas Day. Presence, what a beautiful sight, it repeats. Don't mean a thing if you're not holding me tight. And I repeat, that is so true. You're all I need underneath the tree tonight. Oh, you're all I need underneath the tree tonight. And what does that all mean to you? From the second verse, that's expressing gratitude for finally finding the love they were searching for. That's what's been echoed there. They found a love that belongs to them entirely and has swept them off their feet. And I have been for 16 years. The up and coming Christmas will be filled with joy without any worries. Who needs presents? As long as you've got that hug and kiss, that's all you need. And then, as you've heard, the bridge reinforces the idea of everything changed. When they found this love together, you and me and me and you, the chorus just resurfaces emphasizing the partner's presence and the beauty of Christmas to have them there 
So overall underneath the tree conveys that theme of love and joy. This is my summary, transforming a previously lonely holiday season into one filled with warmth, happiness, realization that the only thing truly needed is being with the person they love beneath the Christmas tree. Now, of course I don't have a Christmas tree and I pointed to the one above my head, but that will do for me. And I hope this will do for you. Happy Christmas. You're not on your own. No one's on their own. People have the spiritual side and God, or they have their loved one and their text messages. And if no one sends you one and you just send somebody a text on Christmas Day, just make, fill yourself with the feel good factor. It's a day to reminisce. It's a day to think. It's a day to accept. It's a day to move on. And it's a day to look to one side and remember the loved ones that aren't with you anymore. But I say this every single Christmas to my friends. They might not be with you, the people that you love. But remember, you carry them in your brain. You carry them every day in your memories. And those shared moments and the advices they gave you and the guidance during life, they never go away. They're always around you spiritually, spiritually, spiritually. And that's what Christmas is about. Happy spiritual day of love and peace and joy to all of you. Take care.